What's up, YouTube? It's Savannah. And John. We have an amazing $650 gaming PC for you today. This is a micro ATX build, and we named it Frostbite because we went with a mostly white and blue color scheme. We are so excited to unbox all of these components and build this PC. So without further ado, here are the parts. For the processor, we went with the Intel i5, 4590, 3.3 GHz quad core processor. As you know, Span and I are huge fans of i5s, and being a budget build, we really wanted to fit an i5 into the budget, and we have successfully done so, so we're really excited about this. We did not opt for a K-series processor, being that they are a little bit pricier, but will save money by not getting aftermarket cooling, and also perhaps getting a little bit of a cheaper motherboard, but still fitting an i5 into the build. For RAM, we have two sticks of Hyper Fury X DDR3 1600 memory. This is pretty standard. We like that they were blue, which matches our motherboard. And it was actually the cheapest 8 gigabyte, two 4 gigabyte sticks of RAM that we could find at $43 on Amazon. For the motherboard, we went with the ASRock H97 Micro ATX motherboard. This is only $60 on Newegg. It supports up to 32 gigs of RAM, has onboard USB 3.0 headers. The only con that I saw to this was it only has two fan connections, one for the CPU and just one fan, uh, just one other fan connector. So, but it's still an awesome motherboard and with a BIOS update, I read you can actually overclock if you wanted to, even though we didn't get an overclockable CPU. But at only $60 and it had a $10 mail-in rebate, this is a really good deal and it looks cool. It has that black, white, and blue color scheme we were going for. For storage, we went with the Samsung 850 Evo, 250 gigabyte solid state drive. I know this isn't a ton of space, but this is blazing fast. And I really wanted to fit an SSD into the build and at only $100 on Amazon, this was a really good deal. Now being a budget build, we almost went for a $50 one terabyte 7200 RPM Western digital mechanical hard drive, but we really felt that the SSD will save us a lot of time in the long run and make our experience on our computer that much better, being that they are so much faster than mechanical hard drives. And you rarely hear about an SSD dying on someone. So we really like that we were able to fit an SSD into a $650 budget. For the graphics card, we went with the GeForce GTX 960 two gigabyte video card for only $185. And there's a $20 mail-in rebate from MSI that you can use, knocking this down to $165. If you buy this from Newegg, they throw in Metal Gear Solid 5. I actually made the mistake of buying it on Amazon and they didn't actually come with Metal Gear Solid 5 and only I'll put a link in the description to all the 960 cards that come with Metal Gear Solid 5 on Amazon. This one so happened to not, which was kind of disappointing. It, it does on Newegg though, and only $185 with a $20 mail-in rebate, $165 for a GTX 960. That's a pretty sweet deal. So I'm pretty excited about this. This should get us around 60 frames per second and even demanding games. Maybe we may have to turn the settings down obviously a little bit and really, really demanding games. We already have a 970, but we want to see how this 960 does. We just thought this was a really great deal at $165. That's literally half of, of what you'll pay for for the GTX 970. So talk about price to performance. For the power supply, I went with the EVGA 500 watt, 80 plus bronze certified power supply. This is non-modular, but gets the job done. This was $48, so not a bad deal. And from a reputable manufacturer in EVGA, this will give plenty of power to the build. For the case, we went with the DIY PC Gamer Storm white micro ATX case. This looks really cool. It comes with two fans, it has two blue LEDs, and looks really cool, and we'll do an unboxing so you can check it out. All right, let's unbox this DIY PC Gamer Storm. This is the micro ATX case. Look cool, only $40. Package really nice and snug in there. Don't disappear. Into the box. We 
put pictures in the camera so you can see. We got the headphone jack, microphone, USB 3.0, power button, reset button, and one fan here, one fan in the back, and a nice kind of kind of dark side window panel for this micro ATX case. Looks pretty sweet. I'll put a link in the description for this exact model. It's really small, I like it. Now we're unboxing the Azrock H97 Micro ATX motherboard. Ooh. So, comes with a quick installation guide. CD. This is the, uh, the I.O. for the back. Just, just very, very simple, very clear. Two SAT cables. And here he is. It's the key. So it's in the anti-static bag here. We'll be careful with it. And it has four dims, which is awesome. Black and white on a micro ATX motherboard. So you can take a look at it. Uh, looks like it has for the 24 pin connector here on the side. Looks like we have an HDMI port, USB 3.0, USB 2.0 ports, so VGA, DVI. This is a great 1150 socket motherboard. Now we're unboxing the GeForce GTX 960 graphic card from, sorry, oh my god, from, from MSI. I'm sorry, I actually really didn't realize really got that close. That's okay, it's okay. Okay, let's do this. Not, oh, it's white. It's, it's white. white. it's white. And it has a cool uh, tiger on the box, so you know it's legit when it has a tiger on the box. A white tiger. Okay. Tucker, you open all I'm sorry, the I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, this is cool. Check that out. Oh, I like this. Wait. It's like a layer. Oh, it's pretty! They even have like a cool CD. I feel like I'm gonna get User guide. One of these. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I know, I know you don't trust me. I do not trust really? you. Really? <laughs> that was so cool. Is that everything, sweetie? No, yes. Guys, what you see, I'm taking a look at the camera. I think that's the copper heat sink. That's so cool. Let me show the camera. Like how cool looking is that? So the two fans, that copper just looks really, really nice. So this is a nice looking card. It's not too big. It's also not too small. And this is perfect for our build. Way to go MSI. I can't wait to see how this thing runs. All right guys, so we're gonna start this build off by taking the motherboard out of the anti-static bag, putting the RAM in, installing the CPU, and then doing the rest. Savannah's gonna be my trusty helper. <laughs> Let me discharge real fast. Okay. Taking this out. Oh. oh. Trying to be delicate here. Mm -hmm. With the ASRock H97 Anniversary Edition Micro ITX motherboard. With four dims. All right. So now we're gonna unbox this HyperX DDR3 1600 megahertz memory. Oh. Ram. 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 Like <laughs> sheep. We're gonna put the uh, the sheep in. No, I'm just kidding. I really thought that's what you were talking about. Like <laughs> very, very. We're gonna order. Some, we're gonna order some sheep. <laughs> So this build is actually for Savannah, so I'm a little bit jealous because these RAM sticks look freaking sweet. I love the color and they kind of have like a aluminum gloss to them. So let's see if I can take them out. They oh. remind me of some kind of candy. I know they look like candy. I want to eat them. Let's eat some RAM. I'm not sure what kind of candy it reminds me of, but... Hmm. Hmm. It looks like an airhead. It does. It looks like, like a crazy, crazy airhead. I'm hold. like, uh, hold it. No, 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 just hold it. I dropped everything though. No, oh, you know what it looks like? It looks like one of those things that you play the, the. Okay. 
Okay. Of the uh, ukulele? <laughs> Ukulele. Is that what they are? The <laughs> harmonica. Yes, the ukulele. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no more us around. We're putting the ram in. Okay, so we're going to do sorry, sorry. slots two and four so we can get dual channel. I think one and three will also do the trick, but that leaves us a little more room from the CPU. So you're going to do this one. I'm going to do this one. So this way. So the longer side facing you. Okay, no, 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 the black and the black one. There you go. I wish I had glasses so I could be like, oh, oh I'm you still have my glasses right now. That. There you go. That's that. <laughs> <A> push. <laughs> push, push. I'm pushing. Okay. Like a pregnant lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna break it. It's, it looks you're not. You're not. It does so take a little bit of force. Delicate. All right, push down here. No, on the end. On the end here. Right here. Oh, right here. Push. Oh. <laughs> uh, so it clicked. Okay. That's fun. So now we're gonna do this one. Everyone should try that. I'm just taking that sticker off, it doesn't matter. Then it, then it would be stickerless. Alright, like push. Um, no, no, the part, yeah, so, yeah, you had it, you had it. Sorry. Yeah. Close, yeah, I there know you what go. I'm doing. I'll teach you. There we go. So it looks sweet. I love the blue. It goes, it's gonna go with the blue lights and the case. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're gonna unbox and install the processor. This is the, as I was saying earlier, the 4590 3.3 gigahertz quad core mm. processor. So Savannah really wanted a quad core CPU. We were gonna go with an FX 6300, and that was, FX was only $90. So I mean, this was a bit of, what did you steal? <laughs> oh, <we're laughs> okay, was a, was a bit of a jump in price. Uh, but we also had to go for a little bit of a, uh, a less expensive motherboard and uh, I felt it, it, it was worth it. Price for performance um, has really strong four cores, although, you know, I was going back and forth. But at the end of the day, once it was going to be like a $600 build, a little more than that, I felt it was good. I really wanted to get that i5 in there and I'm really thankful. Uh, you sound like you had a country accent. <laughs> We're thankful we got that i5 in there that we got in there. So, you know, it's going to take like six hours, of course, to open this. It's no big deal. <sighs> you know, there's probably an easier way, I think. Like a knife? No, like... like Knives solve everyone's problems. <laughs> okay. No. So this is how not to unbox, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, there should be thermal paste pre-applied onto the stock cooler. We're not, we didn't get an aftermarket cooler because, you know, it's not a K-series processor, so, you know, we, we can't overclock. Anyway, little guy here. Stock cooler. I like the blue matches the, the RAM sticks and it's going to match the, the LED lights. You know, they really put this in very securely. Or you're just a really bad... No, 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 they do, they do. Because, you know, you don't... The CPUs yeah. are, you know, the most delicate of the bunch. So, it has a little writing there, I don't know if you can see, for the i5-4590 Vietnam. Hmm? That's cool. Is that just where it was made? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put the CPU into the CPU socket. 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 Sounds like that. a mean word. Sock it. So go and let this up. I and mean, you're not supposed to leave this exposed for a long time. So we're gonna set. I'm, I'm not being careful not to touch any pins. And we're just gonna set it in here. We're gonna line the arrow up with the arrow up on the motherboard. So now we're going to lock it into place and the plastic should come off on its own. Pops, plastic pops right off for you. You want to put the arm a little bit of force to keep it in there nice and snug. 
And now this stock cooler, I believe, comes pre-applied with thermal paste. So, and these want to be turned, I believe, clockwise. Okay, so I'm actually going to put this in with Intel facing upside down, so this wire can reach the CPU fan quite easily. And now you want to do it all at once. Okay, push these two at the same time. Push. One, two, three. Now we're going to go and put the uh, CPU fan connection into the uh, CPU fan connectors on the motherboard. This looks like a little village, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, it does. It does. <laughs> okay. It's like their little house. <laughs> the mind of Savannah. Okay, so we have the CPU in there, and I guess we're going to go ahead and install the I.O. shield in the back of the case, and then we're going to put the motherboard in. Turn the screen on, turn the monitor on, and you check it out. So yeah, it has the, the ASRock, so it boots up really quickly. About, I don't even know what that was, like five seconds. And I put a cool a cat with like blue eyes as the background for Savannah, and her favorite color is pink, so we gave her, you know, the pink, the pink Windows theme, and she obviously has a, a pink mouse. Um, so yeah, everything runs really quickly. Let's get a little closer so you can you can check out like just how how awesome this looks. So I'll turn it this way. You can see so it has a blue LED. This is the DIY PC. I think it's GamerStorm PC. This is a micro ATX case, so it's not big. It's got a really cool blue LED fan in the front. We put the Intel i5 sticker down here. So that looks cool. So you get an idea of the size. And it has a blue LED in the back, which I don't know if you can see. And uh, let me let me get a quick shot of the I/O up here, so you can see the yeah, power button, reset button, um, headphone, microphone jack, USB 3.0 port. And this also this back panel also comes out. And this was actually really good for cable management. Like I had a. a just a regular ATX power supply, non-modular, and like I was really worried that I was gonna be able to fit it in a micro ATX case. But like this bolds, let me fit so many wires back here. So I want to open it up so you can see the components more clearly because as you can see, it has the side window panel, but kind of it has a tint to it, which is pretty cool. So you can see all the components inside, and yeah, the, the case just comes off really easily, which I, I like a lot. So if you can get a little closer, so you can see. Just have the stock cooler on there. We got the two blue sticks of DDR3 1600 HyperX memory, micro ATX ASRock H97 micro ATX motherboard. We have the GTX 960 MSI graphics card, which I got for only 165 after the $20 rebate. EVGA 500 bronze, 80 plus certified non-modular power supply. And we have, I put our SSD down there and uh, I, you know, I guess where you know hard drives and SSDs go, 
And as you can see, yeah, I put like so many wires back there. It's crazy. I know the cable management is still like not good at all, but considering it's a micro ATX case with a non-modular full-size power supply, I think I did an okay job. So I hope you guys like this build. For only $650, this is like my dream budget build that is pretty much gonna do everything you'd want to do. You may have to turn the settings down a bit and like really graphic intensive games, but for video editing and whatever else you want, this is a great pick. So let me just put the put this back on and let's get a let's get a couple uh see it goes on really easily. I like that. It's just like let's get you know let's a little more angles of it because you can get the top here. So you see it, it has the mesh here, so you can see the, the blue LED from the, from the top. Let's get the side. We yeah, haven't got the side. So it looks good from the side too. It looks like a, like a stormtrooper from the side. So yeah, I mean, just to get an idea of the size, I mean, like, yeah, not big at all. You know, it can just, you could just easily, you probably put this into a suitcase, which, you know, is in contrast to like a mid-sized ATX case. So really, really happy with this. Guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash Savannah and John. We have done lots of PC builds. We have this build. I have another video. I'll put a link for it for our other build that was a little bit more expensive. It was a $1,000 build, which we also really like. So please, yeah, again, like, comment, subscribe. It really help us out. Thanks for watching, guys.